two games ago against Odisha. Oh, it's a poor mistake by the goalkeeper Diraj, and he'll be walked in by Echem Pandita. Then his side goes up two goals to one. The ball just goes long from Jamshed for, and just here Ivan Dolan just gets caught and possibly doesn't get enough on it, but Diraj has to deal with that first time and just clear his lines. And Ishan Pandita will not get an easier goal, but it's what he deserves. He goes in, he chases, but this there, Diraj has to clear the ball mark. We saw Diraj do some clever footwork in the game against North East United a couple of games, well, last game, sorry. Nice little uh, shimmy at the back. Instead of putting his foot through the ball, he's tried to be clever. And Ishan Pandita needed no... Jote, good ball in, free header, and Guarachena makes amends for the own goal at the other end. Got in front of his man, it's poor defending from Jamshedpour, and that's what's been costing them this season. And Anwar Ali stepping in and passing that ball forward. And then it got outside to Chote, who just thought, I'm going to whip this one across the near post. It takes a little deflection, which stops the pace for the cross and makes its way all the way across to Guarachena, who's at the near post, exactly what FC Goa needed, somebody to make a near post run from midfield. It's what the game deserved. Guarachena making amends for that earlier own goal, and it is 1-1 at the furnace. Just a word on Alvaro Vasquez, who's come on as well. Third appearance off the bench for him. Finally got his first goal for his new club two games ago against Odisha. Oh, it's a poor mistake by the goalkeeper Diraj, and he'll be walked in by Echem Pandita. Well, of all the goalkeepers... Three in the middle. Rubi needs to make the right decision here on Beche, just holding back. It's Kianese! Guided in for a third, job complete. The substitute gets the goal, made by the substitute, Rabi, made by Manolo in AZ, and Hyderabad lead 3-0. What a coach, what a team. Everything he's doing, he's touching, he's turning into gold. Substitutes come on, and they don't make any change. In fact, they, they, they improve the performance. He's picked the right pass out, Rabi. Kian AZ's movement's brilliant. To be fair, he can over this if he wants to, and he falls to Bartek Becci, but you've got players... <laughs> Play forward, here's a chance for Sliskovic, it's over to corner, and Chennai take the lead. And Just did so well at pressing Mumbai City and frustrating them, and it was Matata Fall, the skipper, that just got his lines clogged and didn't have an option, and they stepped in Chennai in and defended really well, but Sliskovic gets his sixth goal of the season, the first one with his feet, the big man can use his feet, and Carney finished the ball well, putting it into the bottom corner, just here, Matata Fall getting caught. The Chennai in players stepped up and pressed to an absolute T. Bryce Miranda once more. This time Amrinder comes out, misses, and there's the header. Oh, it's gone in! And what a moment in the match. They were the better side in the last 10-15 minutes and there's a substitute who comes on, puts that cross in. But what is the goalkeeper doing? Amrinder comes out, if you come out, you have to punch the ball, he's completely missed it. But credit to Sandeep Singh, he's made his way into that Odisha FC box. And he has to show composure in that moment to just guide it towards... Ubedia over the top once again. It was Pratik's header. It's Gorachina! Back into the match with the clock ticking down. It's an equaliser for FC Goa and the Spaniard scores again. It's a fine finish and Goa are back on level terms. Just a long ball in and Pratik Chaudhry heads that one up in the air to try and give it some sort of trajectory, but they didn't expect that. The on-rushing Ika Guarachena, and he just hammers it home at the near posts. 
And Vishal Yadav didn't see the ball coming in that quickly. It needed not to let it bounce there from Boris. Devendra did really well to allow the space and the time in a lot of the contests. Towards Jordan! <laughs> North East United! Entire second half. And one attack forward, beautiful ball through. Emil Benny gets on it, he gets his head up, and there's only one man to aim for Jordan Gill. And that's an inch perfect cross coming in. And once that ball comes towards him, Jordan Gill, great leap, great hang time, and a great header to the keepers left, there's no chance for Vishal Ked. You have to ask questions of the defenders as well. Everyone's ball watching, no one. Down the low by Bignesh, Bikins in behind once again. A pointer in the middle, Pereira Diaz, nice flick back. Stewart! Brilliantly well goal from Mumbai City FC. Flicks and tricks and... Absolute champagne football from Mumbai City FC. It had glimpses of Guti from Real Madrid. Watch this little flick back from Pereira Diaz. It was too long for Apoya, but Greg Stewart, the Scotsman, was not going to make a mistake from six yards out. What a great pass from Bippen. And how's that intelligent flick from Pereira Diaz and the finish from Greg Stewart? A great move from Mumbai City FC, unlocking that defence, Vignesh, with a great ball forward. Champagne football at its best. We saw one from Chennai, didn't we? With the free kick, looking long for Motada Fowl, who knocks it back across. Chante! Chante, who's getting better and better. Was Lalianzala Chante showing us his right foot to control and his left foot to volley? Or was the other way around? Left foot to control and right foot to go into the corner. He does have a right foot, Chante, and he needed to use it here because Matata Fall just headed that ball back across. You know that service is going to come in from Jahu, a set play for sure. But how's this finish from Chante? Straight into the back of the net. Severio, just a little bit of space for him to move into here, Javier Severio, Halli Charan. Good ball across, Ogbeche into the top of the net, deflected in, Ogbeche will claim this, Jinga. But almost have a second goal of the game, is in the air of course, and well that just emphasises it there. Won the ball back himself in midfield, it was a strong challenge, Severio found a lot of space in that midfield area. And Halli Charan provided the ball in Jingan could only slice it into the net we'll see whether the ball was going on target we had a, a dubious one last night that went to the goals panel let's have a look from this angle see if that header was going in I'm not sure it was going in so it may well go down as a Sandesh Jingan own goal but certainly for now I think it'll be credited